In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add subdomain in Squarespace. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to manage subdomains and add them to your Squarespace account. All that you have to do is visit squarespace.com and on this website, click on your icon on the navigation bar after you are properly signed in. In here, under the account dashboard, go over to domains. Now, you will be able to see all of the domains that you own through Squarespace itself, and in order to add a subdomain, all that you have to do is click on Transfer a Domain. You will be redirected one more time to this page, where you will be able to enter your domain to get started. So in here, just enter the subdomain that you would like to manage through Squarespace itself. Now, I'm just going to use a random example because sadly, I don't have a domain attributed to me at the moment that I can transfer, but once you enter your specific domain, you will be able to to finish this process. So first you have to input an authorization code here that you can acquire through your domains registrar and once this is done just confirm all of the other details. So you will have to look through the contact information here and finally the address at the bottom. Once you include all of these details then you will be able to proceed and have this transfer completed. You will add the domain from your original domain registrar through Squarespace in the form of a subdomain and you will be able to see the total here and so on. It is simple to do and once it is transferred you will be able to manage the domain entirely through Squarespace itself. Of course this is only an example so I'm not going to be able to finish this process, I apologize. So consider what you want to use the subdomain for and keep in mind that it might take some time for the DNS changes to propagate, which means that it could take a few hours for the subdomain to work properly. But once this is done, it is going to appear under this domains tab on Squarespace. I hope I was able to help you on how to add subdomain in Squarespace. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.